can individuals cope with inflation or live with inflation? You know, uh, sometimes we have to go back to basics, uh, Mubina, uh, in this case. Now, now in a current situation, I think everybody is a little bit fortunate. There is a little fortune that we all have. You know, these lockdowns and the fact that a lot of goods and services are not available the way we would, we would like to have them available. We are actually saving a fair bit of money. So although the income haven't risen or they have been the same, you're not spending as much. You're not traveling. You're not spending on luxuries. You're not doing all those uh, you know, discretionary and non-discretionary kind of expenditures that you used to do all, all this kind of uh, all, all the time. So even the discretionary ones have gone down. Non-discretionary, of course, you know, you don't have a choice. So having said all these things, I think two basic formulas always work for you. And these two formulas are very simple. Formula number one is that your expenses is always income minus your savings. So the thing is, your savings have to happen, whatever income it is, because it is in times like these that those savings and those investments will come to use. These are the rainy days that we should normally save for. And then rule number two is basically, you know, when we say that if you are healthy, uh, take care of your health because then you'll live to fight another day. So in the same way, if you have the money, then you'll be able to do whatever else you need to do with money, the options that you have, things that you need for your children, for your parents, for yourself, so on and so forth. So savings, number one, and the fact that you need to be a little more cautious with money and not spend it on uh, things which are of not so much of importance right now, like luxuries and things like that, you'll have to compromise a little bit. But but do save, and there's a huge number of money, that a huge amount of money that's gone into the stock market. If, if the numbers from CDSL and all is anything to go by, the number of people that have moved to the stock market to you know prop up their incomes.